Well, good morning, good afternoon, happy Monday. Um, hope everyone had a good rest. The thunderstorm didn't keep you awake, didn't keep me awake. I zonked out tired, didn't hear a thing. And I'm just excited for the rain because it'll make the grass and all my flowers grow. So there's the upside in having a thunderstorm. And now it's nice and hot out again. So, you know, summer is here. I'm so excited for that. Hopefully everyone got out and got some sunshine this weekend because it's starting to feel like summer out there. Anyway, I hope you saw Mark today. He dropped off your packages. Um, hope you went on the step and said hello. Next time, feel free to shoot some rotten eggs at him. Whatever makes you happy is what we're here for. If you happen to get Mark and Mo with rotten eggs, I'm not gonna complain. Just kidding, I had a lot of fun last week with our with our staff versus staff challenge and dunking their faces. That was like the best day I've ever had at work since you guys have been gone, so. Hopefully you guys liked it too. I know I laughed. I watched it like five times and laughed every time. So I'm gonna give you the quick little rundown of the packages. Um, purple welcome letter with the schedule on the back. One thing to note on um, this first part, I had a little mistake when I wrote up the recipe for the donuts, the Salvation Army donuts. I put you needed baking soda, and in fact, you needed baking powder. Um, hopefully no one made donuts that tasted funny. Um, I realized the mistake before I made it, so our donuts actually tasted pretty dang good. I'm pretty proud of us. Um, so. Just keep that in mind. If you want to try and make those donuts, I highly recommend them. And I highly recommend dunking them in sugar. Even better if you want to put a little cinnamon in the sugar. Um, so you're going to see, oh, we have our motivational quote. Um, I really like this one. It says, believe there is good in the world. And then it says, be the good in the world. So um, please keep that in mind. There's a lot of bad stuff in the news right now. So hopefully um, you can try and be a good person in the world today because that's what we need. So we're gonna try something new. So apparently when we did the paper airplane game, it was National Paper Airplane Day. We didn't even know that, we stumbled upon it by accident and then we had National Donut Day and we thought, hey, this is something we could really use. So turns out there are national days for absolutely everything and you can Google them all and find all the different days. I decided to start picking out one national day per day just to start having some fun with and maybe kind of to spice up our programming a little bit. So you will now find a sheet each week with a national day information. So we're going to play off this this week. So today, Monday, June 8th is actually National Best Friends Day. So you do get a card again. Please write a card to one of your closest friends. Um, if you need us to deliver it, we absolutely will do that for you. Um, just find a way to recognize one of your close friends. A phone call, um, send them a message, write them a card, any way to recognize the special friends in your life. And then in your bag, you will find a tart shell and a little thing of strawberry rhubarb pie filling. Hopefully Mark hasn't squished them all on his deliveries. So um, the strawberry rhubarb filling was made with love by me. My mom would be proud. She always makes strawberry rhubarb things. And it's strawberry rhubarb pie day on Tuesday. So instead of making a full pie, we'll be making the strawberry rhubarb tarts. I have a feeling you guys' tarts won't last until tomorrow. Um, I think some of you might make them as soon as you get them today and that's perfectly fine. If you wanted to make a big strawberry rhubarb pie or tart, there's the recipe. Strawberry rhubarb is just the flavor of summer. I just love strawberry rhubarb. And so on Wednesday, it is National Iced Tea Day. Um, again, Mark was dropping off a can of iced tea for you. Hopefully you'll be able to cheers your friends and drink an iced tea on National Iced Tea Day. Unless Mark drank all the iced tea on the delivery. I'm just kidding. I know I get I tease Mark and Mo a lot, but you know what? They're pretty awesome guys, so. My favorite day this week is going to be Thursday. It is National Making Life Beautiful Day. We are trying to figure out a way to make some people's lives more beautiful. We just haven't quite nailed it yet. I really encourage you to try and make, um, make a life's beautiful moment for someone else. Figure out a way to be kind or nice or generous any which way you can. Please let us know. If you, if you thought of any good ideas or if you did anything that, that really kind of made someone's day, we would love to hear those stories. Friday is not going to be my favorite holiday because it is National Peanut Butter Cookie Day. You guys know I don't like peanut butter. I'm not gonna be in the room when they make the peanut butter cookies. Um, so we did send the recipe home. It's super easy. It is peanut butter, sugar, and egg. So um, y'all should have that in your cupboard. We didn't want to send home the peanut butter in case 
one of your roommates was allergic to peanut butter and we didn't know. We didn't want anyone getting sick, so make sure you make some peanut butter cookies. Do the little X with the fork. That tells everybody it's a peanut butter cookie. Um, and on the weekend, even though we're not here, we thought we'd still find you some really cool days. So Saturday is National Weed Your Garden Day. Um, if you don't have a garden, feel free to come do mine because weeding is not my favorite thing. However, we do need to do it to make sure our plants grow and that they're nice and bright and beautiful. So get outside, get your hands in the dirt and weed your garden on Saturday. And then Sunday is Strawberry Shortcake Day. So strawberries, we know they're summer fruit. I think we're gonna have a lot of strawberry days this summer. So we did send a recipe for a strawberry shortcake. Feel free to deliver me a piece. I think it would be delicious. So things that aren't national days that are in your bag this week, we're gonna try. We're gonna do a tutorial on baked macaroni and cheese because you know, who doesn't like a good mac and cheese, especially the homemade kind. We don't want none of that KD stuff. And last but not least, um, we have a button art project. So we found this, we thought it was really cute, really nice, really cool, we could do. Um, really nice framed. So in your bag you have the paper to do it on, it's a thicker paper. And then also we give you some buttons and the string to make it just like the picture. So we're gonna do that tutorial for you and, um, and hopefully our pictures turn out as cute as that. There's lots of different ideas or different shapes if you don't wanna do the balloon and you think you have enough buttons, you can do um, anything else you find or anything you can make up in your head. Um, that's okay. So we'll be doing that on Thursday together. So can't wait to see your projects. Hopefully you guys remember to send us a picture of, of some of the stuff you've completed. And I think that's all like, oh, Friday, Friday, Friday. So Friday is Wheel of Fortune. And so we're gonna try and do that again live. However, my computer is in the shop, so not entirely sure if we're gonna be able to broadcast it on our YouTube. Um, but you can always FaceTime in. It's been fun with the people we've had join in so far, all those games. So feel free to FaceTime in Friday at 10.30 for Wheel of Fortune. Although we will give out prizes. However, I can't do like real Wheel of Fortune and do vacations and cars and cash and all that sort of stuff. But I have been giving prizes to those people who are coming in and participating. And we love seeing all the beautiful faces that we miss so much. So I think that's all I have for you this week. Um, I know we say all the time that um, we can't wait to see you all soon. So everyone, please be safe. Please follow all the guidelines so that we can all be together at program um, and have an exciting, awesome, fun summer like we normally do. Otherwise, um, I think it's going to be a pretty quiet summer without you guys. So take care. Call us if you need anything and um, we'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye-bye.